because of inflation. The inflation numbers are going to come out. I haven't seen them yet. As a matter of fact, I'm recording this on a Wednesday. Um, let me take a look here. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, so the inflation numbers have come out already. So I haven't taken a look at this yet. Um, so uh, we're gonna react to the inflation numbers um, right now. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. So CPI. So inflation just went to eight and a half percent, which is in line with what I said a month ago. Um, that that we'd start seeing it tick down. I know that does eight and a half percent is way way. Um, It is way way uh, higher <laughs> than um, what I was ex the, the the what we would want, right? Um, I believe that we were expecting eight point seven percent. Yeah. We were expecting to see 8.7% uh, inflation this month, which is good. It dipped faster than what we thought it would do. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is some good numbers here. Um, I. I said uh, a month ago that what I thought would happen is that inflation would start trending down as we increase those rates because we'd be putting pressure on core inflation. Um, I think that's what we're, we've been seeing. Uh, last month it ticked up a little bit and that was mainly because of gas prices. Gas prices have come down. Uh, I was expecting that. To happen, um, I, I think that you you've seen that in the data, right? In your day to day life, uh, paying for energy prices has come down quite a bit since the middle of June. Uh, July was a good month for for energy prices coming down. Uh, of July was. Um, and so, yeah, I think that the, the inflation numbers really sort of reflect that. Uh, core inflation. Um, trying to see what the core inflation was. I haven't seen that yet. Let's see. Items less food and energy increased by 0.3 up. 5.9% year over year, which is another tick down, which is what I said would be happening. So I think that we're moving in the right direction. I think that we've got a uh, good momentum here, and I think that's gonna continue and be on pace for the next uh, entirety of the year. Um, so, I, you know, the, the data is what the data is. Um, Inflation has come down uh, a little bit, a smidgen. Um, but what we're going to see over the next uh, 12 months is it's going to continue to decline. Uh, supply chains are going to resolve. Um, energy prices are going to come down even more. Uh, I think we're going to be in that $3 a gallon nationwide uh, range uh, 12 months from now. That's yeah, that's probably the hardest prediction uh, to make is is where energy prices are going to be. But that's where I think we're going to be in terms of uh, gasoline prices. We're probably going to hit around three dollars a gallon um, nationwide average. I don't know where. I don't know, you know, exactly 
where that's going to land, but I think that's where we're going to hit is in that $3 range um, per gallon. Um, and I think that we're going to see, you know, the inflation get back down to the that 2%. Now, a couple of things. Are there going to, is there going to be a recession? Probably. Um, I'm looking at my quarterly reports from the stocks that I own. Uh, they're all down a little bit in terms of revenue, in terms of profitability. Um, margins seem to be high. Cash flow is even better because of, you know, they're resolving inventory backlogs and things like that. Um, so profitability is going up. Uh, that, that, that seems to be the case at the moment. Um, what I would say though, is that where we're sitting at at the moment is we've still got really high inflation. Uh, that's going to weigh heavily on the stock market. I think that regardless of how this great, frankly, this was a great uh, inflation report, um, where I think we're going to go in terms of the stock market here is kind of interesting because um, I'm not really 100% sure how the market as a whole is going to read these numbers. Um, I think that what we're probably going to see is that these numbers are going to come out and when the market opens here in half an hour or so, uh, we might see a little bit of a pop. Uh, futures aren't indicating that that's going to be the case at the moment, but I think we're going to see a little bit of a pop. Um, nothing special though. Uh, I, I think that a lot of this has been priced in. I think a lot of this has, you know, the market is forward looking. And I think that this inflation report, um, it came out uh, exactly sort of how the market was pricing it in, uh, which is why we saw, you know, the 9% the increase in the stock market that we saw in July, is I think a lot of people were out there expecting that inflation was going to be coming down. Uh, I think the market got it right. I think that the market understood what was happening and that's why we saw the, the run up in stock prices. So I don't think, I, I think the market's gonna be happy with these numbers. We'll see. Um, but I wouldn't put it in the realm of possibility that we have a slight decline. And the reason why actually also has to do with inflation. Um, the Democrats have passed uh, their inflation spending, their in inflation reduction act. It's really a spending bill. Um, they've got a couple of things in there that, that concern me as an investor. Uh, the number one thing that really sort of can, the, the, the gets at me is the, uh, 15% minimum tax on corporations. Uh, that is, that's not going to be great for the stock market. Um, so I think that, that you're going to see a little bit of a, that, that could weigh on these good numbers. Um, the other thing too is a 1% tax on share buybacks. I think that's a bad thing for the market. Um, it's it's going to sort of weigh on people uh, in terms of returning that cash to shareholders. Um, I think that's a bad law, um, that, that particular tax. And the reason why it's bad is because you've already got a 1% tax on those share buybacks. And what I mean by that is that um, that you're, you've actually got a um, 
probably got like a 15% uh, tax on those buybacks already um, because uh, somebody is selling, right? Um, minimum, you've got a 15% tax on the, those share buybacks already. Uh, and those people are being charged capital gains taxes. And so adding an additional 1% tax on top of that is bad policy. Um, because, yeah, it, it, it benefits uh, the people who don't sell, right? But you're already taxing it. You're already taxing it. It's coming out of the, the people who sold's pocket, right? Somebody sold those shares, and they are subject to capital gains taxes. Um, so there's already a minimum 15% on share buybacks out there. Um, and, and so it, it feels overly punitive to the, the people who have held on because it's a, it's an additional 1% corporate tax. And I think it's, I, I think that's bad policy. It, it's just bad policy, right? Um, I don't think that we should subsidize share buybacks, but um, by any means, but you know, like you're already taxing it. You are already taxing the capital gains that, that are occurring here. Um, so the, the fact that um, we're getting a minimum 1% tax on share buybacks is, it is really concerning to me. Now the corporate tax rate being having a minimum of 15 percent it's not great for stocks but we've had a lot of um tax cuts for corporations uh, trump era uh tax cuts so uh this is really more of a return to normal so i'm not really in favor of it as an investor um but i'm not like i'm not i don't feel overly hurt by it uh, it, it just seems like it, the end of a temporary tax cut, right, from the Trump era. So uh, I'm not, I don't hate the 15% minimum corporate tax, but the, the, the tax on the share buybacks is really bad. Um, it, that, that one's terrible, terrible policy. And um and I think it hurts the the average citizen, frankly. I think that it's going to add a lot of revenue um, to the government. Um, and to the extent that you like your government to be well-funded, um, great. But uh, I think it's bad policy because you're, you're basically double taxing um, those, those share repurchases. And... So, yeah, it, it seems like such a, because, oh, okay, here's, here's the thing. Uh, if you're doing share repurchases, you're doing it because you made a profit, right? So now you've got a 15% minimum tax on that profit. Now you're going to pay 1% to deliver that cash to a shareholder who is then going to pay another 15% on top of that. It's a terrible, terrible plan. It's a terrible plan. It's bad, 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 bad policy. Um, it, 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 it's terrible. It, it really is bad. I, I can't stress that enough because, you know, now we're talking a 31% tax on any money that is minimum minimum 31% that's delivered to uh, individual Americans, right? Um, it, it's such bad policy, guys. It's terrible. It's super bad. Like, that money is being taxed heavily. Um, way more than probably what you're, you get from your job, right? You won't feel it in your personal tax, right? Because half of that corporate tax, more than half of that corporate tax is going to be, it, more than half of that tax is going to be paid at the corporate level, right? But it's bad policy. It's, it's terrible policy. Um, 
so yeah I'm I'm not in favor of some of those provisions and I hope they get that they get walked back um, over the next couple of years uh, that that one in particular I think it's a terrible terrible policy so anyway enough of a political rant but the the point is is that there are some things that Congress has done to reduce infl to reduce inflation um, that I actually don't think are going to matter all that much in terms of reducing inflation there are some things that, that I think are good policy in there I think that there are some good things like negotiating prices on prescription drugs for the federal government. Everybody else can negotiate prices. Um, why can't the federal government? So I think that's that's probably that's probably good. Um, I think it's going to keep prices down for everybody else. Um, whether or not that uh, you, you can make some arguments about whether that's government price fixing and blah 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 but it's a negotiation right and I think that business people tend to understand that and I think that's probably good policy I think it's going to save people and taxpayers lots of money so I think there's some good things in this bill uh, but there's some things that are just awful just awful in there like the one percent tax on um share buybacks terrible policy uh uh but like i said it's kind of a mixed bag in my opinion um but yeah and so but i guess the thing that i'm saying though is that this inflation rating was pretty good and I wouldn't be surprised if the market popped up a little bit but there are some pressures out there which will cause the market to to tumble a little bit and so um, I'm I'm not sure where the market is gonna open in half an hour but just take that for what it is and hey the, the thing that you got to remember is it doesn't really matter. None of this really matters in the long run, right? Buy good businesses, buy good capital, buy good uh, factories, equipment, all of that sort of stuff. Buy companies that are producing things that people want, and you'll be fine. You will be fine. So just stay rational with your investments, even though there's all this crazy news coming out and you'll be fine. So until next time, stay rational, my friends.